What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Hope you guys are having a quick day as usual. So for this video guys, I'm going to be reacting to Transformers Prime Season 2, Episode 2. Before we jump into the video guys, you already know, hit the like button because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot. But enough talking, let's jump into the video. We'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. Previously on Transformers Prime. Optimus has reverted to his pre-prime state, Orion Pax. The key card, what's it do? It grants access to Vector Sigma. An ancient source of mystical power on Cybertron. When we stormed the Iacon Hall of Records in the waning days of the war for Cybertron, we acquired highly classified files, which we have been unable to decipher. It's cons, and they're busting into the same military research lab they hit two months ago. We let them finish building their space bridge. Why? So we can commandeer it and use it to send me to Cybertron. I have not seen him <laughs> aboard the ship. Commander Starscream is dead. Ah. Optimus Prime? Please, I mean no harm. Oh? Then what are you doing here? Research for Lord Megatron. Uh, is this some kind of joke? I do not understand. And why did you call me Optimus Prime? Uh, why wouldn't I? Because my name is Orion Pax. <laughs> I am far from being a Prime. Oh. Uh, you reminded me of someone I once knew, that's all. You are Starscream. Yes. Lord Megatron told me you had been terminated. Lord Megatron says many things, only some of which are true. Oh. You do not suggest that our leader would speak falsehoods. <laughs> <laughs> you truly are being kept in the dark, aren't you? Hey, man. <laughs> Let's go. You speak in many riddles, Starscream. Please, tell me what it is that you know. And in return... Starscream, <laughs> surrender! <laughs> Die! Hold your fire! Remain in the lab. But I... Lord Megatron's orders. <laughs> Raphael, is the test subject ready? Check. Long-range GPS activated. I have doubts whether my recalibrations have successfully extended ground bridge range, but there is only one way to find out. Come on! It was just the first try. No, Raphael. It was pure folly. A misguided act of desperation. It takes eons to master space bridge engineering. And no one is more accomplished than the Decepticons. You know, there's this thing in gym class where you have to climb a rope all the way to the ceiling. It's really hard, and I've never been able to do it. <clears throat> but when I told B about it, 
He believed in me, which made me practice a ton. Finally, just a couple of weeks ago, I made it to the top. What does any of this have to do with gym class? I, I, I was just... I'll give you some alone time. Damn, Ratchet. Optimus. <laughs> I am so sorry. Orion. I'm so sorry for the recent commotion. You weren't in any way harmed, were you? No, Lord Megatron. But why did you tell me Starscream was dead? Because he is dead to our cause. Starscream was my most trusted lieutenant until he turned traitor and joined the Autobots. Autobots. Never have I witnessed a more profound act of deceit. He did <laughs> not do or say anything troubling to you. No. Good. Perhaps it's best to forget the entire incident and return to your project. As you wish, my lord. Orion was never very adept at the art of deception. I made a mistake not terminating Starscream when I had the opportunity. A mistake I do not intend to make again. No sign of Energon spikes. RC or B find a space bridge? They haven't yet reported back. Ratchet, you all right? Hmm? Yes. Yes, let's just get you to the next quadrant. What is it? A high frequency signal with an embedded message. For me? Optimus? Starscream. I have obtained information regarding your leader. Bring medical kit. Come alone. What? you to come alone and since when do we listen to you where is optimus patch me up and perhaps i'll tell you <sighs> have sympathy i'm leaking here then i suggest that you speak quickly has optimus been harmed in any way he's fine fine can't you see i'm the one who's been harmed where is he where do you think? He's on Megatron's warship. Which is located where? <laughs> now? Who knows? It's a ship. It moves. It took me months to track, only to get fired upon. You wouldn't go to the trouble of calling me here unless you had information to trade. Real information. <sighs> Very well. Your beloved leader may have lost his senses. He goes by the name Orion Pax now. And it seems Megatron has led him to believe he's a Decepticon. <laughs> Tell us something we don't know. What? How could you possibly know that? We're wasting our time. Wait, that's all I have. Really? You can't just leave me like this! Unless you know where Megatron's hiding his space bridge, you can stay here and rust. <sighs> space bridge? Do you mean to tell me that they actually finished building it without my supervision? Oh. <laughs> it hurts most right here, Doctor. The Decepticon space bridge is located right here, deep within an Energon mine. Adjacent to a raw fuel supply. Clever. What's our intel? A reliable source. So, do we have a consensus? Do we know if people can even breathe your atmosphere? 
I'll hook Jack up. Completely state of the art. I still have connections at NASA. It's too dangerous. Mom, I know that this is hard, but Optimus risked his life to save our planet, and he's not even human. We owe it to him. Jack may be the only one who can do this, June, but I don't want you to think for one moment that I'll allow him to travel unchaperoned. Not everyone is destined for an ordinary life. Ooh. Optimus Prime was once Orion Pax, after all. Let's go. Let's you go. Little, you always wanted to be an astronaut. We got this. Okay. Optimus Prime. Oh, Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobot invaders. I reminded Starscream of him. And Lord Megatron said Ratchet was the Autobot leader. Someone is not telling the truth. We will ground bridge directly into the Let's Energon go. mine <laughs> and make our way to the space bridge chamber, neutralizing any Decepticon forces we encounter. Once we secure the space bridge, We'll send for Jack. Stealth must be an absolute priority. We will most certainly be outnumbered, and if any Decepticon should transmit an alert to their warship... The odds become 400 to 1. Scrambling communications upon entry will certainly provide an edge in this regard. Taking the bridge is the easy part. You three need to hold it long enough for Jack and me to get to Cybertron and back. Raphael, climb to the top of the rope in gym class. We can do this. What does gym class have to do with anything? And if Ratchet gets to go on a commando raid, I'm going to. Miko, you will help Raphael operate our ground bridge and manage the communications hub. Oh, can go to Cybertron, can storm the Decepticon space bridge. And Nurse Darby will stand by in case of emergency. Son, let's go. It's time to suit up. <laughs> Clear. Clear. Bridge control. We are under attack. Command, do your own. of engineering. Operational? Fully. Perimeter secured. Now the scary part. I'm shutting down the scrambler in order to contact base and maintain communication through the remainder of the mission. Strike team to base. Objective secured. That's your cue. Let's go, Jack! Ooh. This boy. Bring me back a souvenir. So, what happens when you have to go to the bathroom? Safe journey, son. Just go already. Optimus needs you. 
Locking on the Cybertron. Oh. You ready? Let's do this. I'll leave the Space Bridge portal open in order to eliminate any communication lag over the great distance and make it easier for you to locate when you're ready to return. Easier to locate? You're not bridging us straight to the Big V? Vector Sigma's true location is shrouded in myth and rumor, Jack. It is said the path of the Primes leads there. We must be confident that Optimus will guide you. Don't worry. Space bridging is just like ground bridging. I'm actually on another planet. RC, this is incredible. RC? This isn't how I wanted you to see my home. I'm... I'm sorry. In the fog of war, it's hard to see beyond the next leg of the mission. Or the next punch in the fight. We did everything to save Cybertron. But when the fog finally lifted, there wasn't much left to save. RC, Jack, do you copy? Roger. We're on Cybertron. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Just keep the sightseeing to a minimum, huh? Indeed. We don't know if your journey ahead is five clicks or five thousand. Understood. We're out. Okay. Ratchet said the card would guide us, but I don't see how or what I'm supposed to... There you go. This could be a while. Space Bridge Control, do you read me? Space Bridge Control, this is Breakdown. Your status report is overdue. Scrap. <clears throat> Bulkhead, no. You'll recognize your voice. Oh, I can make it lower. Higher? He would recognize mine as well. Come in, Space Bridge Control. Don't make me come down there and dent some engine blocks. <laughs> Somebody say something. Bravo! Raphael, patch in Agent Fowler. You have one nanocycle to respond to. This or is Space Bridge Control? Situation normal. Normal? You sure about that? We were just calibrating the subsystems, and we, uh, had a surge. But it's fine now. How are you? Uh, uh, never better. I know it's thankless down there. Keep up the good work, huh? Will do. Control out. <sighs> Why would the Decepticon archives be so heavily encrypted? Oh, 
possibly be Optimus Prime. <laughs> Even our encryptions couldn't keep him from the truth. Orion has much to accomplish, and he will stay the course. Even if I must inflict great pain to ensure the completion of Project Hayakan. What is Aeon? The Decepticon capital. Swell. We're on foot from here. Don't want engine noise to attract the wrong kind of attention. Cons? Vermin. This way. stuff happened throughout that episode so let's jump right into it first of all orion pax aka optimus prime finally realizing who he who he was um starscreen had a lot to do with that he kind of gave away the secret but optimus or orion kept digging until he finally figured it out that he is optimus prime so moving forward it's going to be interesting to see what he does is he going to be still captive by megatron because that's what it sounded like at the end of the episode Megatron's going to use him regardless if he even knows he's Optimus Prime. So that dynamic is going to be interesting to see moving forward. Um, Jack and the Autobots commandeering um, the ground bridge or the space bridge and transporting himself and RC to Cybertron. Crazy stuff. We get to see Cybertron. So that's pretty cool. Um, it seems like they're getting followed by Vermin. So it's going to be wicked to see how they deal with that and, and what's going to happen on Cybertron. Remember, they're in space as well, so Jack has limited resources and like he has a suit, so he's limited in what he could do. We're going to see what RC could do, and we're going to get to see a lot more of Cybertron moving forward. S Starscream pretty much, <coughs> excuse me, telling the Autobots where everything is and pretty much giving away the secret of, of Optimus Prime to Orion. Great stuff. So a lot of stuff happened throughout this episode. It seems like there are no more filler episodes. In every episode moving forward, we're going to get some sort of a revelation or some sort of high impact, high stakes scenario. So I'm loving the show, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot. But I'm going to wrap it up. So take care of yourself. Stay safe. Because it is a crazy world and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you already know by now. Peace.